It's a beautiful day in Boise. Take 12. <laughs> That's what it seems like. It seems like it's <laughs> it seems like this is the 12th take of doing this video and I don't know why, but uh, you know, it is a beautiful day in Boise and I'm going someplace special. I'm going to the Western Idaho Fair and I'm going to bring you along and over the years I've heard people tell me you've been to one fair, you've been to them all. And that may be the case, but you know what? I'm going to let curiosity get the better of me and I'm going to bring you along and we'll see if the, the Western Idaho Fair is in fact just like every other fair. I'm sure there'll be all types of rides and games and, and uh, pigs and cows and you know, all types of different gadgets you can buy to make salsa. And, you know, I, I heard that they've got potato ice cream. So that's what I'm curious to see is, I'm gonna go in and see if I can find myself some potato ice cream. <laughs> but uh, today is Veterans Day or Military Day. And if you're, a, if you're a veteran or active duty, you get in free. So let's, uh, let's go inside and we'll, uh, we'll check out the fair. All right, no sooner that I made it into the into the gate here at the fair than a gentleman came up and uh, introduced himself again to me as the as the mayor of my of my hometown Eagle and uh, the mayor has been following me on uh, on YouTube so I'll give a shout out to him Jason I think is his name but uh, anyway there's a uh, there's the fairgrounds map right there the Western Idaho Fair and they've got a QR code that you can scan and uh, give you an idea as to what's going on here at the fair today so they've got uh, they've got a lot of different things that are going on they've got uh, violin on fair or violin on fire which I guess is somebody that's gonna be walking around with the violin but uh, the thing that I'm interested in seeing is the axe women of Maine the axe women of Maine today from 4 30 to 5 in the Broncos Bronco Motors Pavilion so that'll be interesting to see but uh, I'm just gonna do what I love to do at a venue like this and just walk and talk and we'll see what uh, we'll see what there is to see so to speak gentleman over here giving out giving out free Bibles if you want a free Bible here is the uh, Master Kim's Taekwondo so up here I was told if I'm not mistaken I was told that there is the food and that's what I'm curious to see is the food but look at this look at the jacuzzi snake river pool and spa oh boy this would be nice to have outside my uh, outside my bedroom at, 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 at my place oh boy that looks good that looks really really good maybe one day i'll get one of these we will uh we will see as the saying goes i'm gonna take a peek inside you know interestingly enough a lot of times they don't they don't show you the prices on this stuff you know i think they they want to lure you in look at this nice little this nice little tub right here and I know that they're going to tell me that it could be installed by 8 o'clock tonight. Isn't that nice? Oh boy, these look nice. These look really, really nice. It's got a nice vibe. So I'm walking through here. It's really, really a nice, uh, nice atmosphere. But I'm looking for the... Uh, what I want to find is I want to find the potato stuff like the potato ice cream somebody told me that they got potato ice cream here i see smoked turkey legs you see that at a lot of fairs here you can get your finger steaks beef or chicken oh, pronto pups fantastic very very nice what a nice, oh, there we go. Ice cream potato. Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at that. Idaho ice cream potato. America's favorite novelty dessert. Oh, that looks good. That looks really, really good. 
Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? So it's true, you have Idaho potato ice cream? There's the ice cream potato. That's an ice cream potato? Yes. It's vanilla ice cream rolled in cocoa powder. Uh -huh. It has a bed of chocolate on the bottom, whipped cream, nuts, and Oreos. Really? So it's real yeah. potato in there. No potato. Oh, there's Only no potato. Ice cream. It looks like a potato. Oh, it looks. That's kind of sneaky. Yeah. I was telling everybody that they had potato ice cream. Oh no. All right. So I'm gonna. Uh, oh boy, that looks good. I think you should get one. You think I should get one? I definitely think you should get one. All right. You might even yeah. need to get two. I'm doing a YouTube video. Are you? You're gonna be famous. I'm gonna be famous. Yes. I'm Sweet. gonna have to have. I'm gonna have to have you sign a model release form as beautiful as you are. Oh my gosh, you you're know? like my new best friend. <laughs> now if you tell me I only look like I'm 30, we can I be thought best you were, friends I thought forever. you were 25. Oh my gosh, you are my best friend. <laughs> you want me to wear your cowboy hat? You know what that yeah, means, don't see, you? What, what does it mean when a girl wears your cowboy if hat? If you put a hat on the girl's head, she goes home with you, friend. She does? Yes, she does. What if I live out of my car? Then she goes to the car. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you should give me a ride home. <laughs> Go to her all home. Right. Okay, so let me let me try one of these. I'll I'll try one of these. All right. All right. What? Nine dollars. Nine dollars. Oh, I'll, I'll come back later and get it. Are I'll you come sure? Back. Yes, I'll come back after I have something to eat. Okay. All right. Sounds good. But it looks good. Look at that. Yeah, it's beautiful. I already wow. have one rung up. All right. Oh, never mind. I found my way over to the violin on fire gentleman playing. Look at that. I would think for those of you folks that don't live in the United States, it's nice to kind of take a walk with me through the through the fair here. Much as it is for me to take a walk through the through the fairs and the carnivals and festivals over in other places of the world like Europe, Australia. Wonderful. Look at this over here. They have fry bread. You always see interesting food at the uh, at the fair. Boy, it smells good. It smells really, really good. What do you have here? Here you have the Onkari Basque, Basque dancers. And uh, what are they selling? I guess there's a big uh, Basque, Basque community here in uh, in the Boise area. Boy, that looks good. Rizzo, boss sausage on the bun, Salomo grilled marinated pork loin. Oh boy, that stuff all looks good. I already had my lunch, and I probably won't be going back. As good as it looked, I probably won't be going back for a uh, for a nine dollar uh, potato ice cream. You know, I thought I thought it was I thought it was potatoes. I thought you know that was. That was what was going to lure me in, that, that I was going to have potato ice cream. Not ice cream that looked like a potato, you know, but, uh, oh, goodness gracious. I'm coming down here to all the, looks like you got the, the rides. 
very nice. Okay, I've gone through the I've gone through the food area. And now we're heading into the looks like the, the carnival rides. And back in the day I might have I might have might have been going up on some of these rides, but I guess uh, I guess times change. Go see if I can't find my way into the into the hall. All right, I may not pay nine dollars for some vanilla ice cream that looks like that looks like a, a potato. But when I saw this, see the giant pig, over a thousand pounds and growing every day, only a dollar. So I'm gonna go in and I gotta see this a thousand pound pig. That's a lot of bacon. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. Wake him up. Wake up. Sleeping. Look at that. Oh boy. That's a lot of pig. Oh. Wow. Look at that. That's a big pig. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, wow. All right. <laughs> I wonder if they'll let you ride it. Huh? No, uh, you can't No, ride you it. can't ride the pig? Yeah, no? You can't ride it. You want to take it home with you? <laughs> All right. Right next to the thousand pound pig is the uh, hands-on animal education and fun. And seems to be a real popular spot here. First, when you walk in, they've got a Watusi, originated in Africa, bred and raised by the Watusi tribe. They're known for the huge horns. Look at this. I was thinking of getting a goat for my uh, for my backyard. Here are Jacob sheep. These sheep derive their name from the biblical story about Jacob. They are white with random black spots, and both males and females have at least two and as many as six horns. Look at that. Angora goat. This animal originated in Africa and Asia. They produce a coat of soft, shaggy white wool called mohair. They're primarily raised in Texas. Mohair sweaters are made from this wool. Uh, Tuna sheep originated in North Africa and introduced to the United States in the late 1700s as a gift from the ambassador of Algeria. Oh, and down at the down at the end, you've got the uh, the dairy cow. Look at this. Oh, the dairy cows are. Uh, Real popular. Look at that. You're hungry. It's just a ton. It's just a ton. Mom, here, you feed him. I don't want to. You feel it. Really nice. Here, but here. You just put it. I found my way over to the exposition building. And they've got, uh, well, they've got air conditioning shopping and, uh, and vendors. 
so we'll step in and you know maybe I'll find a uh, a salsa maker. Let's see if I want uh, that kind of salsa maker. It's always interesting walking through a uh, through a place like this. I don't know what you're going to see. Here's your, here's your mattresses. What would a fair be without a mattress display? Wine slushies. There you go. Cabela's Club. Join the Cabela's Club. Showing up back here. I would imagine that the fair doesn't uh, really change very much from one year to the next. They always have the, uh, they always have the, uh, what do you call it, the ice cream potato and all that kind of stuff. So maybe it's not too much of a surprise. Look at this. From 2024. Warning, I don't call 911. Oh boy. Joe and the whole gotta go. I'll be back. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Goodness, what a what a crazy world we live in. Uh, all types of jewelry. It's almost like walking through a Costco on steroids. You know, with all the uh, with all the the vendors. Power, mm -hmm. oh, Use your knives. I'm still looking for the salsa maker. Oh, here you go. Free samples. Olive oil. Or, what is that? Is that oil? Sure. Olive oils, marinades. Alright. So the Axe Women of Maine should be starting here shortly. We'll go and uh, see if we can't find them. Hmm, look at this. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mm -hmm. The Adventure and Romance of America, Her People, Her Spirit in the West, The Ongoing Story of Us. Read Lance Rosenthal. Mm -hmm. Maybe next year my garden will be as my garden will be such that I can come and create my own little booth. Alright. Here's Costco. Costco's got a booth here. Look at that. I wonder if they have any samples. They gotta have free candy or something. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go walk out and see. Can it go find the animals? All right, now we're talking. You see, I walked into the next building, and look at this. You've got fine arts on the left, and you've got agriculture on the right. And you know, this is kind of interesting as I was walking, walking through here. Look at. I'm not quite sure how this works, but. You've got people that are displaying their uh, their vegetables. You see, white eggplant, black eggplant beauty. Now it looks like this stuff looks like it's been here, you know, a few days. But uh, just from the looks of some of it, boy, you know, my I, I could hold my own against a lot of what uh, what I see here. Maple Grove Grange 244. Very interesting. Best theme award. Oh, Treasure Valley, P Pomona Grange. 
butternut squash, buttercup squash, early girl tomatoes. Isn't that interesting? And somebody's onions did better than mine this year. And I haven't harvested my potatoes yet. So it's, that's kind of hard to say how my potatoes fared. Very nice. Boy, and look at this. I don't know what the heck that is. But it got first place. Oh, goodness. Now this, this, this kind of reminds me of my adolescence a little bit. Yeah. Wow. I can touch it if I want. Did you grow this? No. No? Are you with the fair? Uh -huh. You are? May I ask you a question? Sure. I'm new to Idaho. Uh -huh. Okay, and I I have a garden this year and I see a lot of what I've grown. Uh-huh. What what is this? What are these displays like the Grange? I see that you know the Maple Grove Grange, okay, whatever. Those what are is a Grange? A Grange is a club. It's and a club. It, uh-huh. And it's made up of people that want to farm and really do things like that. And it's open to anybody. Yes, but you can if you want to enter in any class, you would enter in this one agriculture. Uh -huh. And you could enter any vegetable you have. I could come down and enter and, one of my vegetables yes, in his? Yes. Mm -hmm. And I get like and a you ribbon get paid or something? A ribbon and money. Money? Money. So there's one lady that made hundreds of dollars entering lots of stuff really yes and she does it for the money <laughs> interesting mm -hmm. i'll be darned and what do you have here what is this well this is a gourd that was grown into the sh shape of a baby it was grown and, into that shape yes are you and, able to lift that off no so I, I can't can, you can't do mm -hmm. that okay mm -hmm. but look at look at that oh see it's in it it's in it it's in it but it was grown when it was green, and so they put that shape on it, and it grew into the shape of the baby. Oh, isn't that something? So, it's interesting. Fantastic. And this is a cool thing here. What you, what's this? This is called uh, Gertie the Garden Geek. She has been in the garden so long, she's turned into a vegetable. <laughs> and she's made, she has flower eyes and a carrot nose and bell pepper arms wow. and a body of a potato. Oh, thank you. What's your name? Harriet. Har Harriet? Harriet. Harriet. Nice to meet you, Harriet. Thank you so much for sharing. Wow, folks. Wasn't she wonderful? You know, I've got something now. I've got something to look forward to. You see? Look at this. Next year, I've got I've got my uh, I've got my sights set on the fair. Oh boy, I'm gonna I'm gonna really bring out the manure next year. <laughs> Look at these vegetables. Oh, I got something. I got something to shoot for. Look at these onions. Holy cow! Look at that. I never knew that a guy could get so excited about vegetables. Fantastic. All right, just outside, I found this display here from the Treasure Valley Antique <laughs> Power Association of various, looks like tractors. Wow, look at the, look at all of these. John Deere. 1969. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Excellent. Look at all of these beautiful machines. Oh, thank you. Wow. A couple of years of peace to restore. Yeah. Do they still run? They run like new. Ones. They run like new. Look at this I 1953. I want to kind of say it was more like this one. Yeah. Isn't that nice? 1953. Because there's the control bar that I always put my foot on. Yeah, the, the clutch bar. Yeah. It didn't have that nice 
this old Ford. Right about the time the, the boys were coming home. This is a uh, 1946. what that noise was and maybe you were as well. Look at this. I wonder how it would go over in the dating world when uh, you know you, you meet a guy and the woman says, well, you have any hobbies? She says, oh yeah, let me tell you about one of them. Nineteen twenty-three Fairbank Fairbanks Moors. Hitting this engine with the original body. Alright, let's go see if we can find the animals. Alright, here we are at the Simplot Livestock Barn. And this this should be interesting because I oftentimes am out riding my riding my bike past a lot of the critters that I'd imagine we'll see in here. Look at this. And it smells in here. Rather uh or rather <laughs> Rather like a like a barn, like, rather like you might uh, might expect it with it would. So they got dairy cattle, dairy cattle and swine. Look at this. This is uh, Echo right there. Just like the machine I've got at home. There's a couple that looks like maybe they're on their first date. What do you want to do today, dear? Let's go to the fair. Oh, and here are some, uh, look at the llama. I think these are llamas. Maybe. Those are alpacas. Maybe. Very nice. Well, these cows have names. There's Jasmine. There's Trisket. Look at Trisket. Looks like Trisket's had a few too many Triscuits. And that was uh, Shiloh that just turned around there. Oh, boy. Your, uh, there's your Western Idaho, Idaho Fair, 2022, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. It was a, uh, it was a nice way to spend a little bit of time here on a wonderful Sunday afternoon in Boise. So now I'm gonna, you know, I don't even know if I, st if I'm still pronouncing that right, Boy Boise or Bo Boy. I don't know. People were correcting me when I moved here, but uh, <laughs> it's all good. Now it's on to uh, 
my other favorite uh, Sunday destination, and that would be Costco. Have a great day, everyone.